Hello everyone. Welcome to Price in Action. In this channel, we are going to learn the purest form of price action. So, subscribe so that you don't miss the future updates. Before getting into the video, let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever came across the name of the man who is considered to be the most successful trader in the history? The man who made 10 billion dollars just from trading. The man who invented the candlesticks? The man who was known as the god of markets in his days. Now, in this video, we are going to know his story, which is now a history. Let me introduce the father of price action trading, the creator of candlesticks, and the god of markets, Samurai Munehisa Homa. Let's get into the story of Mr. Homa Munehisa. Sakata is a city in Japan. In the year 1724, Mr. Homa was born into a prominent family of rice merchants who had already acquired a significant amount of wealth by the time he was born. That means he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Their family owned vast rice plantations and they were engaged into rice trade. Here let me tell you something. At that time, rice was the lifeblood of Japan. For the Japanese, rice was more than a food because it was a culture there. It can be said that most of the villagers at that time were engaged in either planting or growing or harvesting rice or doing some kind of business that is connected to the rice. In those days, rice was a very valuable commodity for them. In fact, rice was much much more than a commodity. In a nutshell, we can say that rice was the Japanese economy. Mr. Homa grew up looking at his father as his role model. Ever since he was a child, he was so passionate towards learning how to trade in the rice markets. Uh, he used to go to Sakata rice market, the local Sakata ma rice market along with his father. From the age of 15, he started recording the price data of the rice every day and try to analyze the reasons behind the price change how the price changes why the rice is traded at different different prices he learned so many things from his father as the years went on his father passed away when Homa was in, still in his teens then Homa had to take care of the whole family business. Now that he is running his whole family business, he wanted to enter into the Osaka Rice Exchange that is one of the biggest rice exchanges at that time in Japan. Osaka Rice Exchange was situated on the banks of the river Dojima and therefore it is called Dojima Rice Exchange. He entered the Osaka Rice Exchange and started trading there. He had a friend whose name was Nomura San with his help he got the price data of the last 100 years and every day, every morning he sits at his desk with a full heap of the rice parchment papers which he had from, from the Nomura sand. He was researching and analyzing them by drawing some weird patterns. In those days, there was no pen and paper. Uh, they were using some kind of parchment papers which are uh, actually made from leather, mostly made from leather. Homer researched those ancient records and he always tried to perfect his understanding of them. He recorded them in strange language of science, which no other human at that time could understand. As the years went by, he gradually found some of the signs he was looking for not just as a light in the dark but as a gradual growth of perception not just overnight but through many years of research in my research i found an interesting story of munehisa homa in a persian article which translates to the story that all traders should read let me share the story with you this story goes back in time to those days when homa had started trading in the Osaka rice exchange. It was a new season. The new season rice is going to come into the rice market. That was on Monday. Homa sat in his expensive chair and he was forcing himself to focus on the delivery list and the inventory he was reviewing every morning. That was his daily routine. He looked with great regret at the large pile of rice parchment papers on his desk. These are the manuscripts and drawings which were drawn by Homa based on his research and analysis of those ancient records. These were his most valuable assets. These were all covered with strains signs, all of which were painstakingly written by himself. These marks were drawn from top to bottom of the paper with strange patterns. 
some signs were red and the rest not of the same color the efforts to produce these magical signs was very long and difficult for 15 years homer had been researching these ancient records finally on this day that is on the monday he spotted some specific signs in the sequence that he had been looking for several years he had tested these sequence hundreds of times in his research and repeated it over and over and over again no one had ever seen a recurrence during this long time from what he understood mr homer realized that these sequences had some consequences he clearly knows that he found something that is very significant which no one else alive at that time could understand he wanted to make the biggest deal of his life he wanted to take the biggest trade in his life this bet is not based on certainty but based on the probability